Hey there, um, it is day 30 of my ruckus project, uh, actually no it's not, I'm telling you stories, it is day 29 of my ruckus project, um, and I am in Cancun, uh, specifically I am in Playa del Muerta, Muerto. Uh, I've been here for Shanice and Everett's uh, wedding since Thursday, and I am getting ready to leave in 20 minutes uh, to head back to Baltimore. It's been really entertaining. I am pooped. I am exhausted. Like, I'm so crazy, cross-eyed, tired, I can't even manage. Um, I shared a room with uh, Michelle Sewell, that's my boo, um, and just all of my peeps here my uh, DC poetry people my friends my artist friends um, and we had an amazing time just fun and drunken inebriation <laughs> and good times and good conversation and fellowship and it's been really lovely to sort of wrap up this 30 days um, here I didn't even want to come at first not that I didn't want to come I wanted to be there for Trinice's wedding but I was feeling so so exhausted and so tired um, of moving, it's like just traveling in general, that I was like, oh, I want to go. But I'm really glad that I did. I am uh, uh, approaching the end of my 30 day ruckus project. It's the world's fastest 30 days. Um, and the things that I've realized one is that, you know, like real healing around this issue is going to take way more than 30 days means I'm probably going to stay um, bald longer <laughs> than that. Um, I think there are a lot of other things that I'll be working on in the process. Um, I want to keep talking to people about ruckus and how to start ruckus projects and how to make them massive initiatives in their families and communities. Um, it's been an eye-opening and transformative time for me. Um, and so I, w I still want to share that information with people. I want, I really do want people to be creating ruckus around the world in their lives for years and years and years to come. Uh, I believe that it's something special. Uh, I've got a ceremony that I'm going to do when I get home. I need to do a forgiveness ceremony for the folks that uh, teased me as a kid. I realize I still have my hair. And I realize that there's a way in which I need to honor them and release them from, right? That energetic, energetic ties don't happen in one directionally, right? They're, you're constantly impacting people as people impact you. And I believe that my trauma around my hair um, has held those people in as much bondage as it has held me in some way. And so um, I want to release them from any guilt or or you know, just energetic tie to that time in my life. Um, and so I think that will be my last day uh, activity um, for my 30 days. I am still probably uh, figuring out what it means to um, feel like Sonya without hair. Like it's, I've not gotten used to it. Like I'm not like, whoop, I love being bold. This still hasn't happened. Um, that may never happen. Uh, I'm really clear that that's not what it's about. It's about something bigger than that. Um, and so I want to be in focus about the bigger thing and not the small thing of whether or not I have hair on my head or not. Um, it's just been a really magical time. I'm, I am uh, so grateful for all of you who have been a part of this process. And I am so excited for what's coming up for the other folks that are doing ruckuses. Uh, I hope that you have had as many epiphanies and revelations and uh, cracked open healing in this process as I have. Um, I've also had some setbacks, you know, made some decisions um, that were about my own fear, right? And my fear about being beautiful and my fear about this body that I exist in. And I've definitely made some decisions that were probably not in my best interest around that um, but I'm working through those things and I needed those decisions so that I could see what I need to do next all right so I'm not I'm not upset about those at all uh, I'm super 
excited about what's next. Um, I will probably do a video tonight when I get home. Um, I haven't been at my altar or said my prayer in four days, and so I'm ready for that too. Um, so I'll talk to you guys later on. In the meantime, enjoy this gorgeous, gorgeous beach behind me. It's so stunning. Uh, the Caribbean Sea. Um, and know that I am with you as you are with me. Uh, love, 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 love.